So guys, the big issue about the Redskins, the Washington Redskins name change. I see it's, it's, it's really blowing up and um, you know, you got some people that are really upset and you got some people on the other hand that feel like it, you know, it should have been done. But I found an article back in 2013 uh, so that, that that discusses the name change so seven years ago this name change was being discussed and now seven years later they're planning on changing the name or officially changing the name now so okay the article reads the NFL franchise Assigned to Washington DC has a name that is both racist and offensive. Most Americans have been desensitized to that fact. But it is a fact. And the time has come for the name to change. Last Friday, Mike Wise of the Washington Post Press Commissioner Roger Goodell on the topic. During Goodell's annual pre-Super Bowl press conference, it's often called a state of the league press conference but at any given moment the state of the league can be summarized thusly number one we're really rich number two we're really popular and three we do what we want now Goodell provided a non-answer that produced a faint sound of tap shoes I don't think anybody wants to offend anybody Goodell ultimately ultimately said nobody may want to offend anybody but the name offends plenty even if few notice and it reads on I think when people say Redskins we hear cup or bedspread why I said at a thirsty Symposium conducted by the National Museum of the American Indian. The sound is the same, but when you go to the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota, that name is equivalent to the N word. Wow, see that's deep. See, we never, un we, we, you know, that's that's deep. So, and it carry goes on. Wise, and whom we dis, uh, dis, wise with whom we disagree at a time or two in the past is right on this one it's an offensive name and we're numb to it indeed we're now numb to the fact that for more than a generation efforts have been undertaken to try to change the name for many it's become a a footnote to Americans ultimate reality show a small pocket of people are complaining no action is being taken in response and it'll stay that way until the small pocket of complainers find something else about which to complain. It shouldn't. The name should change. And there's likely only one way it will change. And any point in the next 10 to 15 years. So they were thinking in the next 10 to 15 years that they would eventually change the names, but it's only been seven. Okay, then this was when Robert Griffith the third was uh, Griffin the third was the um, quarterback. So it says quarterback Robert Griffin the third needs to stand up and demand that it change. Athletes who stay firmly in the middle of the road rarely are criticized for not taking a stand. Michael Jordan stayed out of, out of political issues because I, as he once reasoned, Republicans buy shoes too. Of course there's a chance Jordan never actually said that, but Griffin has a unique opportunity. There's no real downside to requesting that the Redskins change their name. Few, few truly believe in their hearts the name isn't offensive. 
Instead, fans of the team resist changing the name because, for them, the terms taps directly into their football loyalties. With Griffin becoming the, the player to whom those loyalties most fervently now trace, he's the only one who can make it happen. Other than, of course, the owner of the team, but Daniel Snyder has shown no inclinations to change the name during his 14 years of owning it. In large part because he has been for decades one of those fans who see Redskins. Not as a word that connotes hate, but as the, rep the representation of the NFL team he loves. Here's hoping Griffin does the, the right thing. Since Griffin could be the only man to persuade Snyder to follow suit. Here's hoping, okay, and then this is, and, it, and this is the end. Uh, if Snyder won't, perhaps at least 24 of these colleagues in ownership eventually will compare, compare him to. So this is 2013, and this has obviously been an issue for seven years, and I'm assuming due to uh, the Black Lives Matter protests and police brutality and the riots and everything that's going on now, uh, that name has been posterized or, or, or became, bec has, has become one of the next issues of, of right and wrongs. But um, in 2013, uh, they got a lot of responses and a lot of tweets from fans and fans that love the team and fans that are loyal to the team and who who were against. And you got and comments from fans that who are loyal to the team, but agree on the name change because. They do as well find it offensive to Native Americans. So one of these reasons, one of these comments read as anyone offended can follow the team of their choice, and an individual could refuse to work or play for them. So for for it had for it hasn't been an issue so far. It hasn't been an issue. For those who are closely involved with the Redskins, so the leftist media should shut up. And the next one read, it should be changed because it is clearly offensive to Aboriginal Americans. Why not adopt the name of one of the local Indian tribes? That way the theme is the same but the offensive name is gone. You know, I never thought about Washington Redskins as, as as being offensive or looking at it in in an offensive way because you know you only you, you say Washington Redskins and you only think of the team. You don't think about the color of the skin color of uh, Native Americans. But um, and another one reads. How about the Washington Warriors? If that's not offensive to the Native American community, they could still use the logo. And another one reads, I quit liking the Washington Baltimore basketball team when they quit being the Bullets. Okay. And another one reads, this is complete silliness. If Native, if Native Americans are that offended, Let's change the names of all the teams that represent those citizens and pretend like they they never existed. People only want the name change to make themselves feel like they are somehow intellectually superior to those that do not. No one cares about the feelings of anyone. And another one reads, I think the real issue is the Packers name. That should be addressed first. 
Okay, we're we going to leave that one alone. Okay. All right. And the next one reads, I don't think you can put it on um, Robert Griffin III to see that the change happens. I agree. I agree. It is long overdue. What if there were a team called the Mississippi Blackskins? How would people feel about that? Hmm? Okay. This is, and another one read, this is a joke. Name stays. Y'all leave if y'all don't like it. Go watch soccer. Wow. Okay. Another one reads, I'm offended by Roger Goodell. Uh, Snyder being a businessman who cares about cash. I would think he would see that if he changed the name, then all the fans would have to go buy new jerseys, sweatshirts, car flags, etc. So he print money on the merchandise. Then the NFL would have to stop him from changing it every few years. <laughs> Thereafter, wow. Okay, and another one reads, the Washington, there's always next year's has a ring to it. Okay. This is these these tweets are all in 2013. So it's been an issue for a while. And another one reads Packers were named for the fish packers, the local industry, like the Steelers are named for burglars. I think most fans of the Washington Football Club would be happy to separate their past glory from the arrogant little twerp who owns them now. Wow. And another one reads It's a pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing to think they have not changed the name of the logo yet. Look. Look at all the colleagues, colleges and universities, Illinois, Stanford, St. John's, and Syracuse, etc. They have changed their names and or mascots. Snyder should be the same. Why not bring back the helmet with the R on it? So guys, this has been an issue for a while. Um, I mean, what do you think? Uh, you think by changing the name would change the way you feel about the team or or do you think the name or you th or do you think that by the issue the issue coming back up uh has it brought you new insight or were you or did you even or did you look at it the way I looked at it just you know the Washington Redskins or the Washington Redskins you know you never look I never look in it that into it that deep to the point where you know my mind just automatic automatically took me to a skin color you know it it was always the football team so if if that's the way you saw it and 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 that's the way that you've always seen it let me know in the comment and uh, what you think about it and how you feel about it because it's official, I, it, I I think it's it's really official. They they're gonna change the name and and it's gonna be. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a brand new team or just it's gonna have the brand new team feeling or they're gonna lose fans or they're gonna lose loyalty or maybe after the people are are done with being upset, it, it may be in. It may end up being as nothing never happened. So let me know what you feel and how you feel about it. Uh, thanks, I'm out.